Hey guys, how's it going today? It's 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, and we're going to talk about six different coins in about 10-15 minutes, okay? We're going to talk about Bitcoin, we're going to talk about Litecoin, Ethereum, NEO, EOS, and Ripple. So, on a very general level, just to keep everybody up to date, on a six-hour chart specifically, okay? So, actually on a four-hour chart, let's go four-hour. Actually, no, you know what? We'll, we'll go over a bunch of different time frames very quickly. We see Bitcoin right here in a descending triangle, which is very bearish, okay? I don't see Bitcoin getting higher than $8,100 before continuing this very final wave. We're seeing a lot of bearish pressure still, okay? We, we ticked up just slightly, very, very slightly in the past four hours, right? Super slightly, but we're still in a very bearish trend. This looks like it wants the curve to come down. So Bitcoin's support right now is roughly $7,700 and seventy dollars right around there seven seven zero right every time we get around there we tend to bounce off of it the previous low was around actually seventy seven fifty okay if we break above eighty one excuse me eighty one hundred with a lot of volume okay maybe the whole bullish count is actually on and we'll have to consider that but as it is right now double bottom right here i'm hoping for it to correct to a much lower level <coughs> excuse me the reason why i say hope so is because it allows us to get much cheaper bitcoin right and the and it could be a very healthy correction for a possible huge uptrend so based on elliott wave still have quite a ways to go for bitcoin right now on the daily chart we see that it's very bearish still guys super bearish it's about to close the day in about half an hour with a very bearish candle which if the trading range if today we end up falling below like seven thousand seven hundred dollars <throat> it's going to be very much so trouble for the next week or so i would say so that's where we stand with bitcoin let's talk about um litecoin now okay litecoin most likely double bottomed out let's just have a look candles looking very bearish as well right now on a daily chart same as bitcoin we're getting a pair of tweezer bottoms right now so far which might signal for a very very small uptrend right but we got to keep in mind that this is also like a descending triangle type of pattern okay it's a descending type of triangle where we're getting a double bottom right around the 50 150 range right if we actually break below that 150 range we're gonna end up easily trending to the $141 range. Based on Fibonacci numbers right now, we're trending to about, let's have a look. We're trending to about probably the, okay, between the 618 and the 786 level. So it's more like a neutral territory based on Fibonacci. But if we do break down, easily expect $141 roughly, okay? Roughly there. Of course, we might even hit a different region, maybe like 148 to 141 but 141 seems like a really good number based on these previous swing low positions way back over here where the wave 2 territory was so always keep in mind that we don't always hit these targets they are meant to be as a support right a support doesn't mean we're going to hit those numbers it means when it gets closer to that region there's a likelihood of it bouncing so this descending triangle is very bearish as well right now we look at the macd there's really no signs of life quite yet guys okay on the daily chart for the RSI, no, no chance right now for an uptrend. Just based on how everything is looking, we need to at least round out a little bit, right? We're still seeing it kind of on a tear down right now in a type of channel on the daily. So that's looking pretty, pretty bearish as well, I would have to say, okay? Now, if, if we end up getting to, you know, I forgot to say, if we end up getting to roughly, where is it right here? If we get above 193, not even 193 172 range right that's 170 range that's where we're going to have a bullish count on the table but as it stands we're far away from it ethereum right now is really really hurting guys it needs some love like what is it even at 527 dollars right now we're pretty much in a descending triangle as well if you guys have noticed right here okay massive descending triangle i would say that goes something just like that where we're double bottoming right now pretty much where we are the double bottom basically occurs 543 i don't mean double bottom as if we found support what i mean is that we're hitting two peaks near the lower end right now and we slightly broke through it but actually yeah we did break through it guys oh my goodness ethereum broke through it it broke through it right here at the 157 dollar range right 170 dollar range and now we're in the lower end of this descending triangle yowzers we broke out of it so the next clear support is roughly right around where we are right now okay 
around the $555 range, <coughs> excuse me, if we break because Ethereum, or sorry, because Bitcoin drops further, we can almost see a decline in price if it get, if Bitcoin gets to 7,200 ranges, right? On the lower end, we can get to anywhere between, between I'm guessing 521 to about $545 there. On a daily, how, what, how are we looking? Let's take a look at the daily candle right here. I'm going to try to do a lot more of these 10 minute updates for you guys. We're reaching some fairly oversold regions right now, but we still have a little bit to go to reach the peak where we were at last time, right? So if we, if we actually look at the RSI from way back there, there's still quite a ways to go that we got to. For example, actually that's a little bit too far back. Yeah, actually, that's okay. We, we consider that some of our support range, right? So here's the lower end of the support range that we, we could have gotten to before. If you guys take a note on here, right? We've actually broken below this support range over here. And now we're more so working at even possibly 27 or sorry, 25 there, 21 RSI. So Ethereum is looking very bearish as well still because Bitcoin is in correction mode. So we can easily expect the support range between 500... I'll go over it again really quickly with you guys, okay? It could, we, right now, we're at $557. We can see easily, possibly, uh, you know what? I'm going to say on the upper end right here, like $521 to $545 as a support. That's as best as it's going to get right now, okay? We're looking super bearish in every time frame. On the 12-hour chart as well, reaching some very oversold regions. Because we've already broken out of this descending triangle, we clearly have, as you guys see, right? We're hitting this support range right here at $557-ish. But, you know, the next range is basically where this wick is, I would say, around the $521 range. Right, it could get up to 545 anywhere between those ranges would be really good support ethereum has downtrended much more than other coins right now and because it has it might actually find stability where people will hedge so okay ethereum's looking nasty still right okay now ripple oh goodness ripple's looking bad too guys on a 12-hour chart we're far away from a possible rsi support right here rsi support is way way in these regions here around the 21 uh, 23 on 23 RSI, we're only at 26 RSI, so we still have some ways to go. Have we double bottomed out yet? Let's take a look at it. Double bottom, you know, right around the... When I say double bottom, keep in mind once again, I don't mean it's going to bounce off of it. I'm just generally referring to it hitting a possible peak there, right? We're getting a massive slope right now coming all the way down, right? Huge slope as well right now. So on the lower end, if Bitcoin does correct, we might find support around the 57 range, right? 57 range. On the lower end, we yeah, 57 seems pretty good. If we actually extend it all the way out here, we get a lot of activity right over here, right over here. So yeah, Bitcoin does go down 57 maybe 55 to 58 cent range, we could find some stable support, right? We're getting very oversold on a 12 hour. We're getting probably really oversold on a daily, I'm guessing, getting there, right? It's definitely getting there. It's testing the R size support range right now. On the lower end, the R size support range is about 30, 29. We're only at about 29 or 31 R side right now. So we still have some steam that we can lose. But overall guys, very bearish, okay? Whole market is entirely bearish right now. We have to understand that, okay? I don't want you guys to get trapped into any long positions by accident. Now we're looking at EOS. It's corrected heavily, guys. Super heavy correction. We're almost at the $4.41 range, right? If we actually end up correcting, Bitcoin drops to $4,200 or $7,200. We might even find some sort of stable support right around these regions right there. The 78.6 level. That's a Fibonacci, and that's around $4.35 to $4.41. We have to consider that as well, right? We're in a massive tear on the downtrend right now. EOS RSI is extremely oversold right now. We're not extremely, but it's starting to get there, right? It's starting to get there. We take a look at our support. We're almost reaching a stable support, but we have to bounce off of it a few times for us to consider it as actual support range right there. So EOS is still looking very bearish on a four hour chart, or sorry, daily. On a four hour chart, right, we're slowly hovering right around these ranges. Not really any signs of life whatsoever yet. These candles are looking incredibly bearish still, I have to admit, okay? 
not a single good bullish candle to support it. So Bitcoin is definitely dictating the market right now. And our last coin we're going to take a look at is NEO. That actually is hurting right now so much, guys. NEO ended up going on a huge tear, right? We're talking about from the $22 ranges to $180. Let's take our FIB. Ignore that flash crash right there, okay? If we ignore that flash crash right there, oh, that would have been nice, right? To get into that flash crash, like $6 for NEO. Wow, that would have been so nice. <laughs> So NEO is hitting right around the 78.6 Fibonacci level as well, right? Very much so. If Bitcoin corrects, we might even see some stability anywhere between $54 to $68 in my opinion. We don't have any signs of life yet. Daily RSI is looking really bear bearish, super bearish still. Um, yeah, we're getting very oversold on NEO right now. They've got some fundamental issues as well. With that known consensus issue, RSI is not even close to anywhere near support yet. This does not look like it wants to cross over anytime soon, guys. It looks like it's on a tear down, right? And it might need a lot of time for it to actually correct. Because of the fundamental issues, it's actually hurting a lot more than the other coins right here. So anywhere between $55 to maybe $58, we might see a correction or we might find stability. On the lower end, it might actually get to even $48. You never know. We just gotta be very patient and wait to see where it levels off. But this particular region right here is where we're finding decent support range, right? Decent support range, so we have to acknowledge that always. Now, yeah, I'm, I'm mainly gonna do like an RSI, um, talk about price action as well in these particular circumstances when I'm doing a very quick update for you guys because I don't wanna waste your time, right? So here, here we're basically double bottoming as well, right? Actually, we broke below it already, okay? We completely broke below it, just like Ethereum. That was $63, or that was at $64, $65. And now we tried to go on the upside, rejected it. That could be seen as a little bit bullish, right? Because Bitcoin did go up from $77.50 to about $8,000 just right about now. So that's where we stand, guys. And there, that is your quick 10-minute update for the day. I'm going to provide much more detailed ones as well, of course, down the road. But I know you guys want to get a little bit of a, of a little bit of a taste, I guess, of a very quick um, summary of some of the top coins right now. All across the board, general consensus, without a doubt, is we are incredibly bearish. And because we're still super bearish right now and waiting for Bitcoin to figure out what it's doing, we have no choice but to basically wait to see how the market plays out, look for better opportunities to enter down the road, hunt for these high probability setups with good risk to reward ratios. And remember, without risk, there's no possibility of reward. So please keep staying extra, extra cautious and I will keep you guys updated more down the road. Woo! I tried to talk really fast there. Have you guys noticed? I talked really fast because I wanted to get this update for you guys. So have yourselves a wonderful day. Make sure you guys upvote this content on Steemit, where I'd really appreciate if you did that. If you guys ever want to buy me a coffee or a drink, you're welcome to donate to the Luna Cryptocurrency Piggy Bang. Other than that, have a great day. Bye now.